Hey guys, Chris here with The Good Old Gamer. Today I wanted to share a quick little article that I found on Guru3D where LG is talking about their new 4K OLED TV at 120 Hz. Now their acronym for this is HFR, which stands for High Frame Rate. You have HDR, and then we have UHD, and now we have HFR. So what's really cool about this is it seems like LG is pushing for a standard for high refresh televisions. This has been a long time coming as TV resolution gains are diminishing. For example, most people have a hard time seeing a difference between a 1080p image and a 4K image at 10 plus feet away. Moving from 60 hertz to 120 hertz will net noticeable gains that everybody can appreciate. Now for us as gamers, this is really, really good news. This means that 4K uh, living room gaming is going to get a huge boost. When you combine this information with the HDMI 2.1 standard, which will have adaptive uh, sync technology built into it. This is a really good combination for living room PC gaming. This is also really good for console gaming. With this information, we can kind of gauge that 60 frames or 60 hertz should in the future, so PlayStation 5 or Xbox 2, the next generation of consoles, should in theory become the mainstream, the minimum, uh, whereas 30 frames per second seems to be now. It looks like we should be doubling across the board, which would be really nice and deliver a much better experience overall for us as gamers. Now, this technology is not for today. I mean, it's not going to be out today, so it doesn't really matter. This should probably be out within the next year or two. But right now, we have the GTX 1080 Ti, which can do 4K60, and RX Vega, which should also be able to handle 4K60. So we're getting to that point where the graphics technology is finally able to deliver the performance that we want. Now, by the time these televisions come out, hopefully that will be a more mainstream level of performance. And, uh, you know, we'll have the 4K 120 would be an option at that particular point. But in conjunction with the adaptive sync, you know, that really helps out because the developers don't need every component to hit. You know, you don't have to hit 120 hertz or 120 frames per second locked. If the frame rate dips down below 100 uh, here and there, it really wouldn't be a big deal because the adaptive sync would kick in. You don't have that huge spike in input latency on a controller or a keyboard and mouse. So the combinations of these technologies is really, really neat. And like I said, with them coining the HFR phrase, which once there's an acronym attached, it seems to stick, especially these three-letter acronyms with TVs. It's very common. Like I said, UHD, uh, HDR, now HFR. You throw that all into one package and you're looking at really, really awesome display technologies. And for those video enthusiasts out there who really hate the 24 frame per second Blu-rays that are currently out there, it looks like they're going to be targeting HFR for television. So for like sporting events and who knows, maybe this will translate to other media as well. And we'll jump up from the 23.94 or 97 uh, frames per second movies that we currently have. Maybe those will jump up to 60 or, or somewhere around there. I don't know, but the interesting thing is, is we're moving away from the resolution race. Like I said, the, the returns on that have been diminishing for a while now. Personally, I'm still okay with 1080p. I mean, I will jump to 4K when it becomes more affordable, just because I just don't see the point in it right now. But, you know, moving on, obviously that will be the future. Past that, I don't think many people will be upgrading past 4K, possibly ever. So the main benefit would be is to go with higher refresh. So glad to see that the industry is catching on. Are you guys excited? Is this interesting to you? If you guys want to check out the article, please click the link in the description below. You can check it out for yourself. Uh, I went ahead and put that in there as well as the HDMI 2.1 information uh, linked with Xbox Scorpio and how that's going to work. So go ahead and check those out. If you like this kind of video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please share with friends. That really helps us out. And I will catch you guys in the next video.